Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss the concept of uh, prime implicants. Okay. So first of all, we will see what is meant by an implicant. Okay. A product term or a sum term which is used to cover one or more max terms or min terms is called as an implicant. Okay. Product term in the sense you can find the product terms in SOP expression. Sum term in the sense you can find the sum terms in POS expressions. So a product term or it may be some term, any one of them. Okay. A product term or a sum term that could be used to cover one or more min terms or max terms. You call this is an implicant. Okay. The three definitions what you are seeing on the screen is very, very, very important. Okay. So what is an implicant? A product term or a sum term which is used to cover the maximum uh, one or more min terms or max terms is called as an implicant okay then what is prime implicant same a product term or a sum term which is obtained by combining the maximum number of adjacent squares adjacent squares means nothing but adjacent cells okay each and every square is called a cell that's why either you can call adjacent squares or adjacent cells in the k map okay what this definition is saying that See, after simplification of K-map, you will get one output expression, capital B. Okay. So, in the final expression, what you are going to write in that expression, each and every term presented in the expression is called as a prime implicant. Okay. Clear? So, what is prime implicant in the sense? The each and every term, it may be product term or it may be some term present in the finalized expression, which we got after simplification of k-map that is called as a prime implicant okay so uh, technically how can you say that is a product term or a sum term which is obtained by combining the maximum number of adjacent squares in k-map it is called as a prime implicant okay then third definition essential prime implicant what is essential prime implicant the minimum number of prime implicants required to include all the ones and zeros present in k-map. Okay. So how can you say that is the prime implicants which are definitely required for us in order to cover all the ones in the k-map. If it is SOP, all the zeros in k-map, if it is POS. Okay. That's why we written here an universal definition that the minimum number of prime implicants which are required to include, include in the sense in order to cover, either you can write the word called as covering of all zeros and ones in the k-map, okay, either you can write this word as include or you can write the covering of all ones and zeros in the k-map, okay, these are the three basic and important definitions we need to remember, clear, now, and the one important point is, all essential prime implicants must be included in the final expression okay whatever you are going to write in the final expression capital y that expression should consist of all the essential prime implicants okay clear so we will see the same concept regarding the problems okay so see here see there is an example obtain the prime implicants for an expression f of a comma b comma c is equal to summation m of 0, 1, 3, 7. Same format. First, what you need to do as three inputs are there, three inputs are there, we need to draw one eight cell K map. And these cell numbers, what are the given cell numbers? 0, 1, 3, 5, 7. These cell numbers are to be substituted with one. Why? Because it is an SOP question. You should substitute with one. And the remaining cells, either you can replace zero or you can leave it as empty. No problem. Okay. So, I have drawn a eight cell K-map. And in the given cell numbers, I have substituted one. And the remaining cells, remaining three cells, I substituted zero. Or else you can keep them empty. No problem. Okay. Now, it is, as it is an SOP expression, I should concentrate only on the ones. I no need to bother about zeros. So, I am not bothering about zeros. Okay, now label them, draw a separator, draw a separator like this and uh, assign the first input for the row and assign the second input, remaining two inputs for the columns. As you are having two inputs here, 
the labeling should be gray code mechanism so first label will be 00, zero and the second label will be 0, 01 and third label will be 11 one, one, and fourth label will be 10 and here we are having only two combinations here so one combination is 0 and one combination is 1 so labeling is completed now grouping of cells first verify whether eight cells is possible or not eight ones is there means then it is possible for octet but we don't find eight ones in the k map we are having only five ones so octet is not possible next to go with verification of uh, quad yes quad is possible here see these four ones careful observe these four ones are adjacent to each other so i have made it as a quad next after making this quad i found only this one remaining empty and my only one and only possibility is i need to make this one group with this one one and only possibility here i am having zero i cannot group one with zero okay this is also important remember that while you are dealing with SOP, you should only group ones. You should not make one with zero as a group. Okay, so I cannot make these two. By folding property also, this last cell and this cell, these two, I can group, but here I am having zero, so I cannot group right now. So the one and only option is I need to group with these two ones only. So these two ones I have grouped here. Now, by using the same process, what is the answer for the quad you will get c why because this quad is the involvement of these two rows two rows involvement means we are not having any common value between these so eliminate the rows only concentrate on the columns these two columns are involving and you find this second one common in the both cases and the second one is relevant to the c so one in terms of C in SOP is C. So therefore the answer of quad is C. Likewise, the answer of pair is A bar B bar. Therefore, the final expression F of A comma B comma C equal to the answer of pair is A bar B bar plus the answer of quad is C. So what is the given question? Obtain the prime implicants. What is the definition of prime implicant? After simplification of KMAP, you will get a final expression in that final expression each and every term is called as a prime implicant now see here we are having two terms here a bar b bar and one term is c so a bar b bar is first prime implicant and c is the second prime implicant so you can write it as hence the prime implicants are a bar b bar and c okay simple problem what is the de definition after simplification of k map you will get a minimized expression in that minimized expression what are all the terms are involving all the terms will be called as a prime implicants okay clear next we will see another question see obtain the prime implicants of the given here also we are having three inputs so take eight cell k map given cell numbers you replace one and the rest of all cell numbers replace okay the rest of all given numbers will replace zero okay right now same start a separator here assign the first input a and the remaining two inputs for column so zero zero will be here zero one will be here next 1 1 will be here and 1 0 will be here and here you will get 0 and will get the same we have seen previous now verify octet is there octet possibility is there in the sense you should have eight ones but we don't have eight ones here okay so go for quad quad means four ones should be there okay four ones are there for us four ones are there but all the four ones are not adjacent to each other so we should not do that Next to go for pairs. These two as one pair, these two as one pair. And you can do these two as one pair also. Okay. Listen here. Cell number uh, cell number one and cell number three is one pair. Okay. 
I'm saying about this one, cell number one and cell number three. What is this? Cell number six and cell number seven is one pair. And what is the pair I shown in red color? Three comma seven. Okay. When you carefully observe this, already this one is grouped with this, this one. Already this one is grouped with this one. So again, you no need to combine these two as a pair. That is the point I am saying here. Okay. That why? Because already third cell is combined with first cell. Seventh cell is combined with sixth cell. So again, there is no necessary for us to write 3 comma 7 as a separate pair like this. Okay. This is an unwanted pair. Okay. So if you write answers for this, write the answers. So what is the answer for this? This is an pair which is not required for us. So this is A bar C. This is A B. And this is the pair not required. Okay. So therefore, f of A B C is equal to this is the required one for us. And this is required for one us. And this is not required. But if you write the answer for this, what you will get? You will get BC as the answer for this particular pair. So A bar C is the answer for the first pair. And the second one is AB. The third one is BC. Okay. These are all the prime implicants where this BC is not necessary for us okay, because already this b is included here this c is included here by consensus theorem also you can eliminate this particular term and you can write these two terms in your answer therefore the prime implicants will be the prime implicants will be a bar c and a b okay so please be careful that when already the grouping is done. There is no need of necessary again grouping of these two cells. That is the main important point. And you remember that. Okay. You remember that essential prime implicants are done nothing but the prime implicants which are used to or which are required to cover all the ones or all the zeros present in the K map. Okay. Whereas in the case of prime implicants, each and every sum term or each and every product term present in the minimized expression of the given Boolean expression is called as a prime implicant. Okay. These are the two important definitions you need to remember. Okay. While simplifying the K map. Okay. So I hope you understand the concept of prime implicants and we will see the next topic in the next video. Thank you and have a nice day.